Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing like a chit chat, get ready with me video, also some like facts about me and stuff as like a little bit of a get to know me. Um, so if you want to hear all about that and see how I got this look also just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay so I'm gonna kind of do like a chit chat, get ready with me, um, kind of like Kind of like a get to know me also because I guess, um, you know, I've made two videos already, but I never really spoke about me or anything. I'm just going to get right into it. I need, so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I know that this was a palette at one point that Too Faced had and now they like reformulated it and repackaged it. It's actually so pretty. So this is the outside packaging of it, and then you open it up, and it looks like this, and then it has a mirror. So I'm going to prime my eyes, but I'm going to use this little mirror in here. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Naked Skin Concealer to prime my eyes. So since my last video, I have had like a bunch of technical issues and stuff. I didn't have enough storage in my computer anymore. I'm using a mini beauty blender to blend this up. I didn't have enough storage in my computer so I had to get like an external hard drive and that took me a while to get. So that's why I don't think I've like done a video in like over a month because I would film and then just have nowhere to put them. So then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40 brush and take Heaven, which is just like a white color. And I'm going to put that down on my entire lid up to my brow bone just to set the concealer and also just lay something down for shadow to go on top of. So next I'm going to take an M441 and take Strip Poker, which is just like a brown color. I'm going to put that in my crease. So I've also cut my hair and made it a bit lighter since my last video. Actually, a lot lighter. Also watching the Yankee game. Um, I am a really big Yankee fan. That's like something like my whole house watches it pretty much every night. So they have been, that's why I keep looking up. My TV is right above here. I'm trying really hard not to. But it's just been so exciting to watch lately. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Sexpresso. I'm going to use that on like the outer corner. And I'm using an M514 brush. So me and my dad actually got to meet a few of them. I really only had a ticket to meet one of them, but like once we were up there, we just started, like they started talking to us and stuff. Um, so I really went to meet, I don't like this brush for what I'm doing. Um, I went to meet Tyler Wade, who since has been moved down. So the camera keeps like going out of focus. But I'm just packing this color on the outer corner. But yeah, I don't know how much of that was heard. But we got to meet some of them. And, you know, I really went for Tyler Wade, who was so incredible. He was just, like, the most amazing, like, the sweetest person ever. I was so excited. I had, like, had a big crush on him, and I had wanted to meet him. And then like his name came up that he was doing like a signing and so I went and stuff and he was just so great and it was so great um I get so like giddy talking about it but that was so much fun and it was really cool for me and my dad to go then I went to one of the games not that long ago I actually sat in the bleachers for the first time um 
a few weeks ago, which was really fun. I had never sat out there. Like, you know, we always sat in, like, seats. A lot of times we would bring my grandma, so we would sit, try to sit somewhere with, like, an awning and stuff, since she is going to be 96 years old. Um, but, yeah, so that was fun to sit out there, because we had never, I had never experienced that. So, other than those things, there's not that much going on, I guess, in my life to, like, update about or like to even talk about. Um, my life is pretty boring, I guess. Um, I'm doing finals right now, which is what is consuming most of my time, and I just needed, I was writing a paper, I just needed like a mental break. So so yeah, I just needed like a mental break from the paper I was writing, so I figured I'd sit down and do like, you know, just film and take Silk Teddy, which is like this pink champagne color. Okay, so I just did liner with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner and lashes just like a pair of Ardell lashes. Now I'm going to prime my face with something that is new to me. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Radiant. So I actually got this as a free gift for becoming a Diamond member at Ulta. So you get like a box. And it has a $25 gift card to the salon, which is good because that's where I get my hair done because that's where I work. And it has a $25 gift card to the salon and also a free gift. So I know that other people have gotten different things. Like a friend of mine got a Lipstick Queen lipstick. Someone else got a Laura Geller um, highlighter. So this is the one that I got. And it is full size and everything, so I'm just going to put that on. I think that this will be really pretty for summer. You could probably just wear it to give yourself a little bit of a glow. I love any products that give me some sort of glow. So then for foundation, I'm going to mix two together. I'm going to use the NARS. This is the... Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's just a little bit too dark for me right now. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. So, like I said, nothing too exciting going on in my life. I am... I want to go to Nashville so bad in, like, less than a month is when I'm trying to go. I want to go for CMA Fest. Um, my parents like can't go because they have to work so I'm trying to see if anyone wants to go that's like my mission right now is find someone to go with so I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to blend out my foundation and then in less than a month actually like three weeks I'm going to see Luke Bryan and Sam Hunt with my sister and her boyfriend, which I'm really excited about that too. I did not like grow up on country music, um, but it is like, you know, as I get older, it is my favorite type of music. I like don't even know, like when I go out and stuff, I barely even know music because the only thing I listen to in the car is country radio or like I love the highway, which is the Sirius XM country radio. Those are like my favorite things to listen to, or if not, I have the Bluetooth on the Apple Music Country Mix. So, it's like all country all the time. So, I really, really want to go to CMA Fest, which is in Nashville, for the CMA Awards, but it's just a little bit short notice. Um, I'm going to use the MAC Waterweight Concealer in NC20. I don't really hear anyone talk about this on YouTube or really anywhere, 
but I really like it. It's like a really lightweight formula, but still gives a good amount of coverage for how lightweight it is. And I'm just going to use my mini blender for that. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to say that I'm going to Nashville. And if I do go, I promise there will be vlogs from Nashville. If not, I'm going to try to go to, I like obviously want to go to a bunch of country music concerts this summer. Atlantic City actually just opened a new arena and I think they're gonna do like a bunch of different country music people this summer. I'm gonna take the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is like the coolest powder I've ever used because it literally feels like water when it goes on. Just super hard to open. So as far as country concerts go, I haven't been to that many because no one in my family, well my one sister likes it, but other than her, like my parents don't listen to it or anything. We went to see, me and her went to see Sam Hunt last September and that was so, that was like the best thing ever. So it'll be cool to see him again. And when we saw him, I was actually on crutches because I had just had my third knee surgery and which I have had three total knee surgeries and we like I had bought the tickets way before I had known even that I was having surgery and we got to sit in like the handicap section because I had like a brace on from my thigh to my ankle so we got to sit in the handicap section and we had like glass in front of us so no one was in front of us and like I got so much room because my brace was like locked so I kept my legs straight and it was just so like it was the best thing ever to be in that little section and it was just like we had so much fun and that was like one of the most fun nights ever so then I'm gonna use this Lorac buildable bronzing powder in pool party And I'm going to contour lightly with the Park Avenue Princess palette. So I kind of wanted this to be a get to know me, get ready with me, but I've kind of strayed from that because I just keep talking about things going on. So as far as getting to know me, I am from New York. Um, not just from New York, I live in New York. I work at Ulta as a lead cashier. Um, I am 21 years old. Um, I just turned 21 not that long ago. Turned 21 in January, and it was like the best age I could have turned. Like, I was so ready to be 21. Just to even like say it, like, and now, like, I never want to be 22. Like, I just want to be 21. I feel like 22 sounds so old, and 21 is just like, just right. So then for blush, I'm going to use Max Gingerly. What else about me? I have two sisters that are older than me. My one sister is 30, and my other sister is 28, I think. Neither live with me anymore, but we did all grow up in the same house. gonna fill in my eyebrows. I've kind of switched to medium brown from Anastasia instead of dark brown because my hair is so much lighter. I think it's cool like having sisters most of the time. I've always kind of wanted to know what it feels like 
to have a brother. Um, I guess because, I guess because I don't. Kind of makes me a little bit closer in like the sports aspect and stuff with my dad. Um, my sister, my one sister is really into it also, but like I said, she doesn't live here. I feel like if I had a brother living here with me who was really into sports, like me and my dad wouldn't have that, you know, that connection that we have in that aspect. Like we talk about all the different stuff going on in the sports. Really, we're into football and baseball, me and my dad. We are on the same side for baseball. We are both Yankee fans. But he is a Jets fan, and I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, which no one ever understands, and I don't even really know how I became one, but that's what I am, is a Steelers fan. So I'm going to spray my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Plus Gold Light. So to finish up my lower lash line, I gotta find a brush. I'm gonna use Erotica, which is like a kind of like a taupe with a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then I'm just gonna use some roller lash on my lower lash line. So then for lips, I'm going to use Too Faced Sex on the Peach, which is from their Sweet Peach collection. And if you follow me on Instagram, which I'll link down below, there's been like a bunch of red lip pictures because I guess with the short blonde hair I've been really into like red lips um but this is the completed look that I was just kind of playing around with I really wanted to test out this palette which worked out really nicely for me I think it's a really good sort of like a central palette because you have like the pink champagne color a gold some matte browns some different stuff in there also has a really nice mirror. So yeah, this is kind of the look that I just came up with playing around. Really simple, minimalist. So I just wanted to sit down and talk and have, you know, a new video up and stuff. So I decided to do it kind of chatty. I noticed in my other videos I was kind of just putting on product. So I wanted to do a more talkative video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.